Let's take a look at the uh, overview camera, which is a third person or oven shoulder camera that is offered to you on unityprefabs.com and it works in the Unity 3D engine. Now this is uh, a camera package that I'm really excited about because these are not very easy to make. Now I'll show you exactly how it works. When I press play, you will see I have a player character, exactly this uh, blue cylinder is what you replace with your character with the animations. As I move my mouse around, it will rotate the camera around the character. And when I start moving the character, it moves relative to the camera. So forward is always away from the camera. So even if I stop and I rotate around and I press forward again, the character rotates and starts moving in that direction. Same goes for left and right. As you can see, it starts moving away and, of course, towards the camera as well. Now, you see this nowadays in most third-person uh, games, especially cartoony games uh, that have this, where the movement is relative to the camera and not a camera glued to the player, like, for example, uh, Gears of War. And if you want that, then I would recommend the other package that we have on UnityPrefabs.com. Now also, what's very nice about this package is if I park my player pretty close to the wall and I try to make my, my camera go through the wall, you can see it zooms in towards the character. So it will never go through walls, which is very nice and gives us a very smooth feel. Because basically the most important thing about your game is the way the camera feels. If the camera does not feel right, the whole game is... Uh, basically from there a little bit of a disaster in the making so this is a very nice package of course you can jump uh, from one place to the next if you have unity pro then some sa shadows will be added of course you can add your own drop blob shadow in the normal unity as well now let's take a look at the variables that we can tweak here if I click the uh, camera pivot point which is the uh, point that we rotate around the camera we can uh, tweak for example what exactly the camera is following so in this case the player is the target if you want to switch players you can just switch out this target in script and it will automatically uh, fly towards the next person to follow then we have our offset that's just how far the uh, camera follows it and then we have our horizontal and vertical rotation speeds which is basically the same thing as mouse sensitivity and then we have our rotation limit which is the angle of our rotation here so if I go up and down that's the maximum limit now if you want to invert the Y some people like that and I personally don't but the option is here you can check that and it will invert the Y axis now you can take this variable make a global and make it work with your main menu so that if people check the box it is also checked in your engine next let's take a look at the camera here and the camera of course has a height so when I tweak that to for example to 6 you can see the camera will automatically jump up. If I change it to 4, it will go lower, or 3. I can change the distance in which the camera is following. So, for example, if I change that to 10, you can see it goes way further. If I change it to 5, the camera zooms closer, and I could very go very close even to 1 or 2 or 3, that sort of thing. Let's uh, leave that at 5 for now. Then we have the damping, which is the smoothness of which the camera is following. It won't update right away because it feels very stuttery and bad, just like you started coding for the first week. And the damping actually makes it look nice and smooth. And then we have the collision tolerance, which is the collision of the camera colliding with other items. All right, and then of course we have the target that's being followed. Let's take a look at the player. The player has quite a bunch of variables that we can tweak as well. We have our ground speed, which is the speed of which the character will walk over the ground. And then also the air speed, so that we can uh, slightly do some adjustments while jumping, which is very nice uh, with platforms and that sort of thing. Then, of course, we have our jump speed, which uh, determines actually the force that we throw the character upwards with when hitting, for example, the space bar. Then we have our drag friction, as soon as the character is on the floor, how heavy would he be and how much would it drag. And of course a very light drag of the wind in the air that you can do to uh, change dragging in the air. And then rotation damping is your last variable as well as the uh, setting the pivot, which I would leave to its default. Of course you can change out the graphics or the actual uh, player so that you can uh, uh, turn it off to invisibility so that you only use the collision and then put your own character with animations in there and that's about it for the uh, for the package It's really nice because it's not very easy to make a uh, kit where the actual player 
uh, works uh, using the uh, camera axes instead of just being a camera glued over shoulder which we also have on unityprefabs.com so uh, check that one also out so that you make the right choice to kickstart the development of your game alright and I will see you next time